Brand spanking new charity shop for you all. Let's see if it's any good. Oh, here he comes. Come here in, though. On that step. I was just... I was, I was cleaning the feet. <laughs> I have to get here before Sam does, you see. Oh, there he is. I left some bits for you. You can't leave nothing for me, mate. There's never any leaving for me, Samuel. Do you want the jelly cut unicorn? I've got that one. It's not actually a jelly cat, Sam. Don't buy it. <laughs> so let's see what Sam's left behind for us all. Hi, mate. Wait. I reckon that's probably all. Uh... Do you know what? I'm going to preemptively get a basket. Then I got high, just randomly played on my phone. I was going to go to school. But then I got high. I was going to get up in time. Was it find a broom? But then I got high. Da, da, da. Now I'm not going to sing that bit. Yeah. What is that? Anti Monopoly. Yeah. Good game. Hi, Good morning. Hi. What's this we've got here? Is this, for, is, this for, is this for sale? No, it's fine. Listen, I love bubble wrap. She, she'll sell them to you. Nah, I'm alright. I'm only joking. I just, I just saw them and got greedy. My, my heart went. Oh, it's only because they're, they're bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got to. Stuff up, yeah, they're nice and easy for that. What we do is we, we raffle ourselves. Yeah. That those yeah they're, and they're, they're much better for you. It's easier that way. Exactly that. <laughs> Estee Lauder. I'm not looking anything up today. Everyone keeps saying to me, buy the meerkat. I don't want the meerkat. It just feels cheap. I don't care what it's worth. Little chip there, chip there. That's been glued back on. Leave me alone. Any brands on these? I'm glad somebody's bought the Reese jacket. Yeah. Cause that was teasing me. You got all togged up this morning. I'm just in gang mode. <laughs> gang <laughs> mode. <laughs> Mountain life. Ew. <sighs> that might be a pickup. Cause it does have a tag, kind of. Thing is with Luke, it's either hit or miss, and for seven, you know, I don't really want to be doing. I don't think it, I don't think there's fifteen in it on Vinted. So it might have been yeah, smell. Yeah, it smells washed. I reckon I just left that in there when they've worn it. We'll leave that one. My method with ladies' clothing to learn it is look for labels and stuff that look um, classic hobs for a tenner. They just look fancy. It's worked so far. What a flop that was. Yeah, let, let oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> sorry, mate. Sorry, dude. Yeah. I'm actually going to put this one back as well because that is about 10 quid brand new. So that's two things back. So we're just keeping the one thing. There we go. We've got a half shot pickup. 15 into £7.50. Beautiful. Wait, now they're reduced actually. What, 30 into 15? No. Still no. Still no. Still no. No, there won't be, there won't be no more than that. Nope. No. They get sent back. Find your dildo, mate. Just fell out. Um, what He's got too much money, this boy has. Spending money on raffles. He's got too much money. Yeah, I'll put the box back. I'm not bothered about it. That's seventeen twenty-five. Thought what's so expensive? But it's the shoes. No, that can't be seventeen twenty-five. These are reduced. I'm oh, sorry. Good job you said. Can I actually use my credit today? Let's have a look. I've got a five on there, might as well use it. Then I can get these for £2.50, you see, because I'm clever. Yeah. Oh no, I'm off tomorrow. I might see the one. Well, we can't get stacks every single time, can we? Just a little bit is fine by me. Just a little bit to add to the store, we'll take it. And with that loyalty credit, I've got it all for less than a fiver. This is a really cool pickup. I like it. It's actually from Toy Story 2, which is what, 97, I think? Something like that? I'm not too sure. But it's official Disney Pixar. Obviously, they did a brand deal with Deco. It's a tablecloth. It's an older one. Yeah, there we go. On the barcode there, it says Toy Story 2. It's a paper table cover. People all love that. It was 50 pence. I saw this a little while ago. I never bothered picking it up. When I'm having a slow day, I'll go back to the items that I thought, mm, maybe, maybe not, and I'll pick them up. And it was still there. 
50p. I reckon there's a tenner in that, believe it or not. The Birkenstocks have been there for ages. They was originally £15 and they was reduced today for £7.50 or two £7.50. They're in remarkable condition for Birkenstocks. Normally you can really see the toes in them. These, just about. Most of that is actually foot divot. You can barely see toes at all. Probably looks a lot worse on the camera, but when looking at it here, there's barely anything. I left the heater on, didn't I? And my neighbours are moving their wheelie bins. So they were £7.50, supposed to be. I get about 20 quid out of them. So originally I was happy to pay the £7.50 for 20 because I know I'm vintage, they'll be 18, 18, they'll go. But everything was less than a fiver. And this I picked up just as I was walking around, having a quick last little look while she was cashing me out. And for £1.75, we picked up a 20 CD black cabinet. These are fantastic. They sell really well. The cassette ones sell quite well as well. Normally, if you've got like cedar wood and teak and all those kinds of things, and you're talking big money. This is just a um, chipboard, whatever you call it one. But it's a 20 CD holder. It's just got a nice little front on that as well. It's a little bit different. You don't normally see that. Normally, it's just plain with a little handle there. No, just quite, I quite like all this that's going on with it. £1.75. There's about £24.99 listing in that. So don't just pass up tape cassette holders and CD holders. Just like everything, there is stuff that's going to be junk. But this one, I'm pretty confident. It's about 20, 25 quid. And that's all I picked up. But I do have a few sales to go through from yesterday. So hang tight and we'll get through those. First of all, I want to give a massive shout out to Kerry. She saw these on my video and reached out to me on my email address, actually. Unfortunately, I don't really respond to emails as quickly as I should do because I have to have set two separate email boxes and I'll just get lost. But she saw these. I paid £1.75 each. So three, four, four, four and a half quid. Kerry's picked these up for £23 all in. Massive bargain. She said that these give her a nostalgia kick like never before. She remembers actually stealing cookies and biscuits out of this one from her grannies. I say stealing, probably just being cheeky, you know how it is. And that these would really give her some kind of blessing in the kitchen. And she wants to do the same thing for her grandchildren. So I massively appreciate that, Kerry. So happy to be able to do that for you. This is the joy and pleasure of this job. We can find things that give people that nostalgic kick. And sometimes most people, hopefully... Their nostalgia is a good feeling and a good experience. Kerry, I appreciate it. On their way to you today. I should have posted them yesterday, to be honest with you, but I honestly, I forgot because they're up on that shelf there when I was doing the sales. If you've seen a video by now, you probably watch it go, why, why are they still up there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Out today. Two sales over on eBay. I had some auctions end yesterday, and one of them was this like wall clock thing. All I did was put as much information as I could about it on there, which was antique French VAP brevet drum carriage wall clock spares repairs parts. I let this sell on auction. Started off at nine ninety nine. It sold for forty four pounds and thirty pence. Owes me absolutely nothing. I did take a look and see if it was anything mega special. Nothing was really peaking and letting me know that I should be taking this to a specialist or anything like that. I'm happy with the price. Hopefully, the person who gets it is going to get an absolute bargain as well. Everyone's happy. Everyone's a winner. And this box is just full of trains and train parts. I did the same thing. I put it all onto an auction, $9.99, and just let it run. That went for £66.66. £66. Pence. Both of them have postage, by the way. So that's £71 in total for the trains and £49.29 for the clock. I always add postage to auctions because you never know what's going to happen with them. You don't want to do auctions and end up it not reaching any kind of decent price at all. Then you've got to fork out postage on top. <laughs> I do four things like this, which are relatively heavy and big. I do four ninety nine postage or four fifty, can't remember something like that. It's just how I like to work. Right, moving over to Vinted. The Cast Cassoni has sold for twelve pounds. I paid five pound for this. It's gone for twelve. I think that's a nice chunky profit. Seven pound for a couple of days. Don't forget, there's no fees on Vinted. What's the point? Five rent to twelve with fees. Shut up. I don't pay postage either. People still get bargains. Idiots! Anyway, Ginger from Chicken Run. She has sold for eight pounds eighty-eight. Eight eighty-eight. Sounds nothing like a chicken. Dakota has actually picked this one up. Hi, Ricky. Big fan of your videos. Thank you very much for accepting my offer. My pleasure. I'm glad to finally be able to grab something from you. All the best, man. And thanks again, Dakota. I appreciate you, Dakota. On its way to you today. Michelin Cap has sold. We're almost through the bundle now. I've got a few more to list still. Still sitting in this bag here. I've put them here probably two weeks ago and said I'm going to start listing them soon. I haven't. I haven't. Sold for £4. Picked up by Patrick. Love the videos, Chief. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it, mate. Let's see if I can put that. 
The Kemperdoo Miller hat we picked up at the Jumble Sale has sold for £9.87. Paid, well, I'm well into profit on that. All the plush, the Tratijo game, uh, the jacket. I've actually sold the jacket as well. That sold. You'll see that in a minute as well. £9.87. This one has sold to Mark. Mark says, I know you like your numbers. I watch your channel all the time. Makes us laugh. I started reselling because of you. I sell on eBay. My account is the hyphen 3BS. Watch you all the time. Bloody predictive text. Listen, I have the same thing. I use Siri to talk. I barely use my fingers to type because it hurts. I've got like, I swear I've got onset arthritis from being a barber. I'm, I'm confident of it. He said he and his wife appreciates me too because I said, I oh, thank you. I appreciate it. He's going to add this one to his collection and thank you for inspiring me to get reselling. Well, Mark and Tina, I appreciate you both. But as I've said before, don't blame me when your hair starts to fall out or go grey or whatever comes first or whatever's left. I don't know what kind of hair you've got. Lyle has picked up a couple of t-shirts. He actually put a bundle together, sent me an offer for £15 and I accepted. I paid £3 each for these into £15. Fee free. We will take it. He said, I watch you on YouTube, Ricky. Love your videos. I said, thank you. And then he said, of course, you inspired me to do it myself too. I'm starting to realise that I may be having a bit of an effect on people starting to resell. Now, as much as I appreciate that and I'm very happy to see the movement, I will not be responsible for hair transplants. Recently, mate, the running joke is recently makes you pull your hair out or just lose it. Like me. My hair's getting thinner and thinner, man. Can't, I'll have to go to Turks soon. Off to Turks. Off I'll go. See ya. The Pambo blanket trousers, nice and thick. Look at them. They're so... Oh, I wish there was a bigger size. I'd have kept them pink or not. They have sold for £18.18. 18 I paid £6 for them. Colette said she's going to have to fight her daughter for these ones. So, Colette and your daughter, I appreciate it because I know you're both going to get used out of these. The daughters always win. Mine's four years old and I'm a dad and I'll lose everything to my daughter. I can't win. It's impossible. And for £19.19, .19, another pickup from that recent jumble sale, the Zeppler jacket thing, coat, has sold. I think this is really smart. Faux fur, faux camel fringe, whatever it's called. What was it called? Faux fur and faux camel titan fur top. I put a fur in that title a lot. Just really nice. £19.19. So I think that is everything apart from two plush sold. If I can be bothered, I'll do a count up and put a little number up here of how much I spent and how much I've made back in less than 36 hours from that jumble sale. If not, then it's just a blank screen. Or well, I shall put a picture of John up again. Even if you do it, put a picture of John up in a banana suit anyway. I really appreciate you watching, guys, massively. If you want to see those plush that sold quite quickly, this is the video for you.